Welcome to Chatufa TV Productions. Chatufa TV Productions, connecting you to the world. Chatufa TV Productions is your channel, citizens. This is your channel, the channel of hope, the channel of power, the channel of war against the enemy that is fighting against the freedom of Zimbabwe. We welcome you to your channel. Please continue to support this channel. Those that are with us for the very first time, we always encourage you to be part and parcel of this family by subscribing, liking, sharing and put a comment at the end of the video we want to hear your contribution too tell us also where you are watching us from we respond to every comment that is given on this channel i'm sure those that are of the family understand that we do respond to every comment that you give in the section box a lot of traffic is happening in the social media and much more this time around than ever before. And when we look at what is happening, we get to understand that there is something that is really up the sleeves with ZANU-PF. A heavily fractured ZANU-PF continues hiding behind the finger. As ZANU-PF's false actors continue to paint a picture of strength and dominance as if all is well within its ranks. The truth they do not want the nation to know is how much the party is fighting fires, putting on a pseudo brave face. Hordes of brainless hero worshipping Warakashi splashed out by Zanu PF on social media, especially on Twitter, seem to have dominated the spaces, singing songs from outdated hymn books of cheap politics and political blasphemy. When you hear them sing praises, on the successes of their leaders, one may think they are speaking of a ZANU-PF we know not of, some kind of ZANU-PF of Lesotho, not the one that has presided over a systematic, cultural, administrative and structural failure that saw Zimbabwe plunging into a sorry state and a laughing stock of the world. ZANU-PF is trying, in its hereditary dogmatic fashion, to mentally frog much everyone into believing that black is white, demons are angels, hate is love, peace is war, old is young, failure is success, losing is winning, good is evil, and Mnangagwa is president. The level to which deranged and hate speech has been spewed over the nation has reached alarming levels. It will take only those with mental stability and living consciences to withstand the level of hypocrisy, self-hate, division, character assassination, and name-calling we see on social media today. This time around, Mnangagwa has taken it into a retrogressive overdrive. It's hating the nation to levels that the simple may never imagine. ZANU-PF thrives in rot, disorder, disunity, disagreement, hate, corruption, dishonesty and destruction. Mnangagwa et al. are just pigs who enjoy the mud. Put order and remove the mire. ZANU-PF cries foul like a toddler. No wonder the greatest qualification to win Mnangagwa's heart, one needs to have degrees in thievery, thuggery, mismanagement, incompetence, dishonesty, selfishness and a diseased conscience. Zimbabwe has been destroyed and captured by very few individuals who are less than 15. These are the greatest blood suckers who are so heartless that they are never moved till they see the last Zimbabwean fall dead. It is very ironic to hear the levels of hero worshipping done to a man like Emerson Mnangagwa and where Zimbabwe finds itself economically, socially and politically. Only the truth shall set a nation or a people free, and ZANU-PF has become the greatest enemy of truth. They have decided to hide behind the finger. 
May I let ZANU PF and their brainless Farakash know that the truth can never be buried. Because truth isn't just a word or idea or phenomenon. Truth is a person. Truth is the creator of the universe. Truth is the word of God. Truth is the way and the life. Truth is the light of the world. Truth is the beginning and the end. His name is Jesus. He holds the key to life and death, heaven and hell. And Zanu PF is trying to bury him alive in Zimbabwe. Here is what truth reveals to us about Zimbabwe. Number one, tensions are high between Munangagwa and Chiwenga as Munangagwa continues to block the latter from ascendancy to power. In his selfishness, Munangagwa has broken the promises of saving a single term and handing over the reins of power to General Chiwenga. The toxic and dangerous people around Mnangagwa continue to mislead and strengthen him to embark on such a suicidal move, going against those that gave power to him on a silver platter. General Chiwenga has used his recent wedding to show off his influence, power, and regional military support as he invited top army personnel and generals from the regional military, including from Mozambique, Swaziland, Angola, and other nations around, with one of them being his best man. A signal that Munangagwa and his team did not miss. That was a checkmate, or call it a joker, if you will. Munangagwa, upon realizing the general's acrobats, was quick to respond in a somewhat jocular manner about Grace Mugabe's shared totem, reminding General Chiwenga that he was a thief and could have some of his debt under the carpet resurrected. I know some, and even Varakashi, would argue that it was nothing but just a joke. The world is always simple for the simple until the truth reveals himself. Number two. Munangagwa and ZANU-PF are fighting so hard to attain the SADC chairmanship, which is proving a mammoth task as he has not been recognized as president following the adoption of the Siom Mumba report in the SADC Extraordinary Heads meeting in Angola. How will SADC offer its headship chair to a man who is not president of any country? Munangagwa remains only ZANU-PF president and a Mr. Jones, chief of the thieving gold mafia, and a father to countless babies. The noise Varakashi, the noise Varakashi are making about Mnangagwa's takeover of the Sadiq chair only needs those that have studied ZANU PF behavior. When you hear them making so much noise and false victory celebrations, know that there is a problem somewhere. They are known barren woman would have given birth to an imaginary baby and witchcraft ululations are echoed in the whole village while anyone demanding to see the baby physically is labeled a puppet of the West to be lambasted and assassinated. Number three, Zimbabwe, Zimstats, Mutulingube, and ZANU PF have since stopped issuing economic performance figures, with the Zimbabwe's economy having met a devastating shrink, especially after the stolen elections. The economy has been in a free fall and an amazing nosedive ever since ZANU-PF began throwing political tantrums and this will squeeze the most needed political oxygen from ZANU-PF's ugly nostrils. The state of the economy come 2024 can never be silenced by the noises of Varakash. No amount of noise will fill up the hungry stomachs of the Zimbabwean people. They may try all they want. Truth shall remain standing firm, exposing all evil and treacherous lies propagated by this outgoing regime. Number four. Truth reveals to us that Nelson Chamisa remains a pain in the neck of ZANU-PF. They sleep Chamisa, eat, drink, think, dream, daydream, and wake up with Nelson Chamisa on their mouths and fingers. While they celebrate and declare that he is down, over and out, it is surprising how and why they sing day in and out about a man fallen and rejected and out. Who runs away from a dead lion, by the way? 
It's fascinating how the more Nelson Chamisa remains quiet, the louder the outcries from ZANU-PF. The man has been so quiet that even double-minded George Charamba had to organize and announce an imaginary non-existent triple C plant demonstration for January 2024, which he promises to crush with impunity. The myopic mind of a small village boy who makes a mad cow and moose for it. Or the boys from the location who turn their mouths into 16 valve engines for their soft wire cars. Truth will never bow down to ZANPF schemes, no matter how much they try to bury him. Even the grave could not contain him. As for us citizens, we have embraced him. He promises that all lies of ZANPF and their father of lies the devil are going down as fast as they try to bury the truth. The more they spread the lies, the faster the very fabric of their existence gets eroded. Come 2024, a point of awakening shall rise. No one will tell propagandists of ZANU-PF that it is no longer working. Reality will. Truth will rise to power in Zimbabwe and a new nation shall be born. A new great nation, normal and progressive to the core, where the uncultured and the evil will never be chased away, but will chase themselves for failure of adaptation. Pigs will flee when truth shall cleanse the water and rid the mire. A great Zimbabwe is coming. Do not be fooled by the lies of ZANU-PF and its demons. We are more than conquerors in him who loved us. Stay upright and love the truth, citizens. Knees on the ground and mouths confessing victory, victory, victory. For indeed victory is certain and God is in it. Till we meet again in another video, God bless you and God bless Zimbabwe. For truth shall conquer and goodness shall conquer.